The Farm Bureau Insurance Scouting Report with Titans General Manager John Robinson. And, you know, Amy, one of the things we love to do before the draft is we like to pick John Robinson's brain because he tells us absolutely nothing. Right. It's very fun to get no But we still, you know, we get blown away, by, we get blown off by the general manager. But we didn't get a chance to talk to you before the 2020 draft for obvious reasons. And I know you weren't going to pick Joe Burrow because he was going to go very high and you were picking late in the first round. But I, I would have been interested to hear your overall evaluation of him as a prospect coming into the league. And this week, as you get ready to play Joe Burrow in the Bengals, what did you think about him entering the draft? And, and are you surprised he's done as well as he has this quickly? Uh, definitely not surprised. Um, you know, he was an outstanding prospect coming out of LSU. Really good size, really good arm, very accurate passer. Could tell that he had commanded that offense down there had toughness to him to, to pull the ball down and, and, and take off running and scramble for yards whenever whenever he needed to. You know, it was just a really complete player. And, you know, his transition into the NFL has been what seems to be a pretty seamless one for him skill-wise. Bengals wideout T. Higgins is from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Why has he started to emerge in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, he's he's got excellent size. Um, he, he really has uh, outstanding ball skills to, to track the ball, huge catch radius to, to go up and, and pluck it or out jump DBs. Or if the, you know, if the ball's a little off target, he can, he can still make the grab. You know, he, he's developing a rapport with Burrow there, uh, and those two guys are off to a fast start. The problem for Bengals' opponents, though, is T. Higgins isn't the only receiver they have, not the only target for Burrow. No, they got plenty of weapons. You know, A.J. Green still there. Uh, he's still a premium player, perennial Pro Bowl player. Tyler Boyd in the slot. He plays outside as well. He's an excellent route runner. He's really good with the ball in his hands after the catch. Thomas, the fourth receiver, he's a heck of a football player too. He's got really good size. He's got really good speed. Sample, the tight end, is growing to be a favorite target of, of Burroughs in that short to intermediate game. He's got good size. He's got good route running skills. You know, and then in the backfield, they got Gio Bernard, who's a really, really quick, fast player. Uh, they like to get the ball in his hands, and if Mixon's healthy and, and plays, he's a premium back for him. Now, Cincinnati may only have one win, but as you watch them, they really seem to be gaining confidence and just having fun playing football. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, you can see it on the sideline. There was a play on uh, on sun last Sunday versus Cleveland where Phillips may have had an interception down the sideline and the entire sideline erupted. They were all up. And, you know, these young stars have really rejuvenated this franchise. They're all playing hard. You know, they play for 60 minutes and, and they're working to finish plays. And you can tell that this, you know, don't let the record fool you. They may only have one win, but it's a good football team. John, what are the challenges for Ryan Tannehill and the Titans offense as they go against the Bengals defense on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I think defensively they've got they've done a really good job of, of mixing uh, veteran uh, players with with some youth. You know, it starts up front. You know, they got Geno Atkins, uh, Mike Daniels, Carlos Dunlap. You know, all those are veteran guys. Uh, Lawson. He's a problem off the edge as an edge rusher. It's the same at linebacker. You know, you got two veteran guys in Pratt and Bynes, you know, mixed with Davis Gaither and Wilson, two rookies who are really fast athletic players. And in the secondary, the safeties, Bates and, and Bell, they really complement each other well. They're always around the football, you know, when the play's over. And they've got Jackson at corner, who's a long athletic guy, first former first rounder. It's a gap and go, it's, a, it's an attacking defense. So we'll have to be, you know, on point this Sunday versus those guys.